Destructive conditioning. Oh, Tom, I haven't told you yet. I've made it through the next round of Miss Australia's beauty pageant. Ooh. You in a beauty pageant. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, aren't I the most beautiful girl in the world to you? Oh, even if you make it that far, they're all bloody self-obsessed anyway. Oh. When Pam finds herself celebrating something that she's proud about or wants to be acknowledged for, Tom is always either neglecting her or turning against her very achievements. In healthy relationships, we are turning towards our partner rather than away far more often than not. Now, we don't need to be perfect. The Gottman Institute found in their love lab that the healthy and more masterful relationships turn toward their partner 86% of the time, whereas those that were more disastrous and a more unhealthy dynamic turn towards their partner only 33% of the time. But in Pam's case, she will avoid celebrating because she fears the consequences of doing so, that being the fear of abandonment, rejection. In the worst case, this is positive reinforcement for not achieving at all or going after her goals and dreams. She'll end up being far too concerned about how Tom receives her and loses agency over her body, internalizes every time that he does not accept a bid for affection. It will build into resentment, which only leads to roles of pleaser, rescuer, or victim. This is a common tactic many narcissists or those that want a power play will use against you. However, in healthy relationships, there is something called acknowledging a bid. Oh, aren't these daffodilly color color? Beautiful, aren't they? I love the color in bloom, don't you? Yeah, I'm with you, the beauty. Get them on the mantelpiece. Even something as subtle as body language, like sharing eye contact, a sigh, or nail biting, is a partner's way of achieving some form of closeness. Empaths may find this easier than many because they're very attuned to how people feel through body language, but this is not to say that this is a skill that can be trained. In fact, bids and offers are great and not needy. It is a sign you have a healthy relationship that's wanting more togetherness and wants to connect. And they should be encouraged. Gottman Institute found that happy couples at a dinner table bid 100 times in a 10 minute period. Going on the statistics, that means that 86 times they are being met. On the other hand, the unhappy couples are those that have 65 bids and going on the statistics of 33%, you're only gonna be matched for 20 or so times. So are you feeling seen and positively reinforced in your relationships because it's extremely important for the inner boy that lives within us all that we need not neglect.